Did you know that you can play hundreds of different old mobile Java games on your PC? Well, you can, with the aid of a JTME emulator. Here is how. FreeJTME is an open source emulator which can run JTME files and thus can run old mobile Java games just as they would run on your phone. While the project is quite dated and it has quite a few shortcomings, it's still one of the best emulation solutions for Java games to this day. Before attempting to install it on our PC, we need to make sure that we have Java installed. If you already have it on your computer, feel free to skip this step. To install Java, all we need to do is to head to the official Java website and then download the installer. The download link for Windows will be available right here. Run the installer and after the process is finished, close it. Keep in mind that if you don't have Java installed, the emulator will not work. After the successful installation, we can now download the emulator. While you technically could download the emulator files from GitHub and build it yourself, this can be pretty hard to do if you haven't done that before. That's why in the description down below, I've linked a SourceForge repository containing finished builds of the app ready to use. Select the latest one and download it just as I do here. After you've downloaded the emulator files, extract them in a chosen location. Once the files are extracted, you will see a few different folders. One of them will be the build folder, and that's the one we're interested in. Once you open it, you'll notice three executable files. Open the very first one, named FreeJTME. That is our emulator. If you have Java installed correctly on your system, it should run without any trouble. As you can see, the very first thing that pops up is a screen prompting you to open a JAR file. That is, a Java game you have on hand. But well, we don't have any games yet. Is there an easy way to get them? After all, these kind of mobile games haven't been a thing since quite a few years now. Well, it turns out there are a few ways you can get old Java games on your PC, but let's get to that. There are a few old Java game archives like this one you can see on the screen right now and this contain mostly scraped games from download sites which are gone since long years now. When it comes to the legality of all this, well, as with most emulation and game preservation efforts, it all boils down to one thing, and that is, can you still source these games or purchase these games from official channels? Are these games still available in any way, shape or form from the original manufacturers or resellers? When it comes to these kind of games, in most cases the answer is no. However, don't take this as a legal advice. In the perfect world, you'd have your own game files, which you've purchased and then ripped from your old mobile device. But let's be 100% honest, this technology is mostly gone these days and it will be really hard to source your files this way. Quite fortunately, there are still a few sites which archive a large portion of old Java games, but the efforts aren't exactly as coordinated as with, for example, Flash Games and Project Flashpoint, which you can see in another one of my videos. The Java game archives I'm talking about are mostly mirrors or copies of old download sites and there isn't really much more to it. So the bottom line is, if you want to search for and download old Java games, you need to rely on one of these sites or source the files yourself in a different way. That's just how it is. As I cannot really guarantee that the files downloaded from any of these websites are safe, I sadly won't be able to link any of these below. If you already have some Java games on your PC, we can continue. Fortunately, I have a few of these here. Each one of them should be a file with a JAR extension. Let's open up our emulator and try loading the first game. For that I've chosen a copy of Sims 3 sourced from my old mobile phone. Let's once again fire up the emulator and then select our game file. One of the first things you'll probably notice is that the window is pretty small. This will depend on the resolution of the screen the game was made for. You can stretch out the window, sacrificing some of the picture quality. And now comes the question, what are the controls? Well, here they are. The overall controls for the app are pretty much the emulation of the standard mobile phone keys, including the soft keys and the number pad. Another thing you might notice is that the game loads up pretty slow. Yeah, sadly, it won't be much faster on an emulator than it would be on a regular capable phone. In some rare cases, if the game has touch support, you'll be able to use your mouse to interact with the emulation screen. These touch controls will be pretty simplified though, because they were made with resistive touchscreens in mind. This means you won't have access to things like on-screen gestures or swiping. 
also, as you can see, the bottom of the screen doesn't really display correctly and a small part of it is missing. This will sometimes happen because the emulation isn't really perfect with all games. So yeah, with that said, if you can get a game running and you can use all the controls you need from the gameplay, you're pretty much all set. If however your game isn't running correctly or you're not able to run it at all, your best bet is finding another JAR file meant for another mobile device for the very same game and seeing if that works. The emulator has some built-in settings, however these are really bare bones and you can't really change much. Some games that I've tested like Asphalt 4 would not work regardless of the settings I've tried. If however you're able to find a game which works right away, the experience is really worth it. I had a lot of fun testing out the classics I used to play as a kid. Overall, while this software certainly isn't new, it still is one of the most popular Java game emulators on the open source market. And now you know how to install it and how to use it. If you're prepared for issues with some games and some crashes along the way, this is a pretty fun way to experience old Java games once again. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comments below. That's all from me. Until next time!